like I said, Tim and I, we didn't get along very well growing up. In fact, Tim was my bully growing up. Now, does anyone have an older sibling that just made your life fucking horrible growing up? Yeah, anyone, anyone out here? You can talk to me, it's fine. Yes, yes what did yours do to you? <laughs> did everybody hear that? Put her in a box and throw her down the stairs. You know what? Second one in Vancouver, that is it. <laughs> a girl said the other night her brothers zipped her up in a fucking suitcase and rolled her down the stairs. <laughs> Anyone else have an older sibling that picked on them? Yeah, what did yours do to you? That's really, that's, yeah, they, they don't really, the older siblings, they don't realise the effect that they have. Who is an older sibling that picked on your younger ones? Yeah. yeah what, what did you do to yours? <laughs> Bundled them up in a blanket and just tossed them around. Is anyone else an older sibling that picked on the younger ones? Yeah, what did you do to yours? Her she little sister. What? So she had to stand on her tippy toes. Oh, that is. Oh, you know, I, I did this show the other day and it was, it was, an, it was a packed audience. It was about 200 people. And uh, not bragging, just 200 people there. And, uh, <laughs> and this girl said that her sister Lisa used to pick on her. And I said, What did, what did she do to you? And she said, uh, oh, Just torture. Just torture! <laughs> just fucking torture. These older siblings, they don't, don't realise the effect that they're, they're having on us. And you know, I ask the older ones usually, and they're just like, I don't know, I just picked on them or something like that. They always know the date, the time, and exactly when you fucking tied us up by our braids, you fucking assholes. They never, they never understand the effect that they're having on you. And every now and then you get payback. Every now and then you get payback. And you older siblings, if you haven't had it yet, it's fucking coming for you. You might need to wait 10 or 12 years. And this girl the other night, she said her sister Lisa just used to, just used to torture her. So I called her up on stage in front of all the 200 people and we called up her sister Lisa and the entire audience just yelled, FUCK OFF LISA! And then we hung up! <laughs> but you've got to get payback every now and then when you get that sweet moment. You've got to get payback. And Tim was one of these horrible bullies who picked on me all the time. He would, he would do things like flick lit matches onto me. And he would sit on my chest with his knees on my arms like that on the ground and then lean over and go to spit into my face. And just before it hits you in the face, he sucks it back up again. This is fucking traumatic. This is traumatic. And you know what? Tim was terrible at timing, so often he just spit directly into my face. And if my mouth was open because it was screaming for help and the spit went into my open mouth, he just raised his fists and go, go like that. He's a horrible fucking bully. And he did all these sorts of things. He would, he would call me names. These names that they know cut deep into your, your soul. The ones that really get into your, into your psyche. He called me names like pig tits. <laughs> and cow tits. <laughs> and camel fanny. Hurtful, hurtful names. Camel fanny. Fanny means a different thing in Australia. <laughs> he called me dog murderer. I never knew why he called me dog murderer. But he called, called me these hurtful, hurtful names that cut deep into your soul. And he did all these sorts of things. He told the kids at school that I shat around the toilet when it was him. It was him who did it. <laughs> I remember it clearly he was running home from the bus stop and he got right outside the front of the toilet and just went, I'm not going to make it! And tried to bend it into shit right in front of the toilet. He could have done this and it would have gone in the toilet, but no, right in front of the toilet. And I saw the whole thing and he looked at me with, with shame, like when you watch a dog do a poo, if anyone ever watches that, that shameful look that dogs give you when they're, when they're doing a poo. And Tim, Tim did this, and then he went to school earlier the next day and told everyone at school that it was me. He started calling me little Johnny shits in front of the toilet, I got called that for a year. He stole my poetry book and showed Alana Kaff with the poem I wrote to her. Yeah, it's a real poem. I've still got to, I've still got to show it to you after the show if you want to see it. It's called I Love Dogs and I Love You. It's a real poem. <laughs> he pissed on a seal! You can't make these things up! <laughs> We're on a family holiday to this place called Seal Bay off the coast of South Australia. And you go to this, this beach and there's just all seals just lazing in the sun. And then mum's just like, where's Tim gone? And there he is just pissing in the face of this seal! <laughs> Who pisses on a seal? 